Hi friends, my name is Lauren and I'm a librarian at the Cranford Public Library. Welcome to week 17 of our We're Gonna Make It Challenge. Each week I'll give you a new idea of something to build or make, and this week we're creating castles. Let's get started. You'll need paper, a paintbrush, I'm using liquid watercolors but you might have something that looks more like this, and a crayon. Start by drawing a line across the bottom of your page, making sure not to touch either edge of the paper. Add two more lines to your page until you end up with what looks like an open rectangle or three sides of a rectangle. Add a line across and then follow it all the way down to that first line that you drew. And then do the same thing on the other side. When you're done with that, draw a line between the two rectangles you just drew and you have the beginning of a castle. From here you can decorate. Add windows, doors, turrets, battlements, whatever you'd like. I've added all the details that I want, which means I'm ready to paint. We're using a little bit of liquid watercolor, but remember it's always okay to make this project your own. Look around your house and see what supplies you have that could work. And there it is, my orange and blue castle. I chose to model this project using crayons because I thought that more people would have those around their house. But if you have oil pastels, Deep Space Sparkle, the art teacher who created this project, recommends using those with some watercolor paints. I tested a lot of different materials with this project and they're all gonna produce some amazing results. The last step is to cut out our castle. This could take a while, so I'll meet you back here when it's all done. There we go, another project in the books. There are a lot of things you can do with this theme. One project that's super fun and super easy is creating a blanket fort. This one is from last year's Family Fortnite, where we take over the library after hours and make huge forts. I hope you enjoyed learning how to create a watercolor castle. Remember, you can make any kind of castle or fortress that you'd like. It can be a drawing or a pillow fort or even a box turned into an enormous castle. I can't wait to see what you create.